Yes, not big, but pretty good. I can help. Uh, yeah, oh, pretty good. Nice. Oh, I'm dizzy. <laughs> so. I'm not going to lie, that's probably the hardest part of spearfishing is removing that top layer without <laughs> Ange because normally Ange helps me Whew. But right I like now, I have to go for a proper like breath hold I'm a bit dizzy unfortunately, I'm bouncing around with my sleepy baby oh, I'm so happy about the first time So that is an amazing couple that we've run into a few times now called um, Lenny the Landy on Instagram A really cool couple They saw me all gearing up, we knew they were going to be here and Nick came running down the beach and grabbed me and took me out rather than me taking the boat out and then going out as well because they really wanted craze too so dove on a few really beautiful bombies it's really nice out there but a bit murkier than I thought it was going to be maybe because of the wind that's been hammering my first proper cray dive grabbed him so I was super stoked had a proper fight and Nick was there to like give me a hand if I needed it or to pass the cray to him but I forgot how hard these crays fight once you've got them and I almost lost him a couple of times, I was like hugging him. Yeah, anyway, it was cool. So we've got one cray in the bag. Oh, and we got um, boarded by fisheries for the first time um, that I've actually seen that happen. And they were two really young, really nice guys. Didn't check our licenses, they just took our word for it that we had them and they just checked the esky and then they carried on. So that was, that was pretty neat. And what else? Yeah, that was cool. No big fish that I would have wanted to spear. Just a couple of little reef sharks and some turtles and just really nice conditions out there. But I did start to feel a bit dizzy, and then they gave me a ginger beer and it perfectly fixed it. So um, no, I'm, I'm chuffed, but I feel a bit guilty because Ange has been manning the fort and looking after little man. No, Not really we've been doing good with Oaks. We have started recently a bit of solid food, so we've been incorporating some new foods today. We've played, we did a walk on a beautiful beach where in Nofli Pro in the Ningaloo. It's an amazing it's, spot. It's so nice. To it's be actually back. a really nice so campsite. Nice so yeah, really, I don't mind at all. Yeah, I would have not enjoyed being on the boat. I think with those. Really. Like, no, I don't think he would have liked it either. Um, but that was cool. So I'll probably go out tomorrow morning with them, and then come back. And then if it's still nice in the afternoon, I'll probably take out the pocket rocket, which yeah. is all set up. So I want to take him out. I want to make sure that the fuel's running properly and stuff so so we're here for four days so i'm sure we'll have some opportunities we will have opportunities i'll go out even if it's choppy you know me I'll have to... <laughs> oh, sit. all right let's put this crate in the freezer and uh chill out maybe have some corn chips maybe another ginger beer and play with the little man Thank you. 
good. I can't tell if it's dead, it's still inking. Pinky <laughs> sales. They are good size ones. <laughs> it looks pretty dead, surely. Especially a karate chop in the head from Nick. Push! I'll just load this thing, chuck it back on. Him too. I ran out of breath, he's strong. He's got one antenna left. Yeah, he's grabbable. Turned around. I don't reckon, man. Yeah. I grabbed, I've pulled something off and I grabbed his tail and it was super spiky, so he's like yeah. wedged that way now. Yeah. But before he was here, so I reckon he's cunning. Just one more crack. I think I'll give up on that one. Should we move on? Oh no. Hey, how did you grab that? <laughs> Did it not move? No, you barely moved. I thought you came up with a crayfish, I was like, that's a slimy looking crayfish. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah, good. That was the same one, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know you put us on the cut off we spot again. <laughs> Yes! Good grab! Good cardio! It's huge!
Ooh, look at this. Some but big poppers. Wow, look at this sunset. Yeah, it's a creepy looking creature. Well, you better not touch us after touching <laughs> them. <laughs> They don't smell too bad. No, but the Actually, ink. You have to hold two, two, oh, um, yeah. two squid and a lobster, and you have to hold a squid and a lobster. Alright. Jeez. What a monster. Yeah, that's a beast, eh? Nice that. work, guys. Oh, Pretty good, eh? Nice work. Not bad at all. Really nice. All day's work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so good. Look so at this sunset, dogs. Third beautiful morning here on the Ningaloo. So yesterday was awesome. So Nick and Katie took me out in their boat again. We went down uh, looking for craze mainly, and we found well Nick spotted three cuttlefish. So he shot one, which we're allowed to here. He shot one, I shot one, and then he grabbed another at one point with his hands, which is cool. So we got three big cuttlefish to have tonight for dinner, and then we also spotted a couple of craze. So it was a super successful day. So. Now I'm going to try and go out because I think the wind's meant to pick up like sort of mid-morning, mid to late morning. The sun's just coming up now. I'm going to chuck my wetsuit on. I'm just going to have a little blast around in the boat. And we'll see how we go because I think tomorrow's meant to be completely winded out and potentially the next day as well, which we'll probably head into town and get more supplies. So uh, I think this morning's the, uh, the only chance I get to get out the little pocket rocket again. So can't wait to get the true kit back out. Yeah, just have a little zoom around, make sure the motor's running well. Uh, it'll be a good place to do it and then I'll pack it back up and chuck it back on the roof. This is the first patch I've seen that could be a bommie. There's a few little spots around. Quite hard to tell from, because we're so low in the water, it's definitely hard when the sun's not directly overhead. It's hard to see and, and, and kind of gauge a 3D understanding of, of how uh, big something is. So obviously I'm after a bommie that has uh, some depth to it and therefore it might have some crayfish underneath. But then there's also rocky ground around here as well and it's a bit tricky to tell the difference between the two with where the sun's at at the moment, being this low in the water. So it could be a complete dud, but the beauty of the boat is it's so easy to just chuck stuff down and, uh, and just have a crack. So I've dropped anchor, I'll double check that that's all properly secured because it is a sand anchor. Alright, hopefully, craze, because this is definitely a different position than I was at yesterday with the guys.
I haven't had any luck yet. But I did see a beautiful coronation trout for my first time. That was an amazing looking fish. Only about that big in the last patch. So it looks like I found an area of some really nice coral. Maybe some lumps too. So I'm going to uh, jump in now and hopefully have a bit of a longer time underwater. That last patch was at about maybe four and a half metres. This one might be a little bit shallow, maybe more like three, three and a half. So yeah, I'll jump in. Man, it's so beautiful now. The sun's come right up and there's not a breath of wind. It's actually starting to glass off. So this is really nice. So I've got a big patch here I'm going to try first and a few patches behind me. So wish me luck. Hopefully we find some crays. Look at the setup. Sick. So good. Lenny the Landy. What a weapon. That's so cool. The Sandy crew. <laughs> Alright, cook up time. Socializing with our friends. Oh, please, Bing. Oh, bless you. You being a good boy? Yeah, he's been a good boy. He's always a good boy. We're going to do, what are we going to do? A big, big cook up of all the different fish. We've got some tuna, we've got some lobster. Fresh tuna, by the way, not fresh tuna. tuna. Fresh tuna, not canned tuna. Yellowfin. We've got some crayfish and some kettlefish. Awesome. How is that? Bloody good. What do you reckon, guys? Man, this is going to be unreal. <laughs> yes. Pickled ginger, soy sauce, fresh tuna. Crayfish. Ten out of ten. So good. It's been way too long since we haven't had any. And how is that for a spot? What a beautiful campsite. What a front in the fair fry. Good company. Good food. Very happy. All right, and after four days in this beautiful location of North Lefroy, definitely actually an underrated campsite. We've never been here before. It's directly in between Widerabondi and South Lefroy, which are quite popular. But this is potentially actually my favorite now because we've got the range behind us. It's basically ocean view directly from your camp. We had site 18, which was huge. So yeah, I couldn't afford it. We could set up the boat just at the front, which was amazing. Now we've got a few other campsites around the Nigalu that we have to check out. And yeah, we're definitely not done with Exmouth. So we're just leaving this spot this morning. We had an amazing night last night with our friends Nick and Katie. So yeah, the Exmouth time here already is starting so well. It's gonna be hard to beat it, but Chris is really keen to get more crayfish, but then she go spare fishing in other spots. Although it's a bit limited, uh, the places that you can spare fish in in Ingaloo, but we'll see how we go. Oh, bless you, buddy. And yeah, we're gonna hit the road very soon. <laughs> 